Karen Carlson, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the folks that I work with every day. My group has two postdoctoral associates, one visiting scholar from Thailand. We have eight graduate students from both the Departments of Chemistry and the Department of Medicinal Chemistry, and there are four undergraduates also working with the group. The Carlson Lab uses the tools of chemistry to study biology. What that sounds like and means is we do chemical biology. Our focus is on microbes, so we think about how bacteria interact with the antibiotics, they interact with nanomaterials or other human-made molecules, and we really think about their interactions in terms of how they communicate with their environment. And we do this using an incredible variety of different techniques, ranging from organic synthesis to biochemistry to molecular modeling, mass spectrometry, fluorescence microscopy, and many, many more. And we hope you'll join us to learn all about it. Next, we're gonna take a look at the lab. So we've got some awesome instrumentation that's used by our group and many others in the department. Let's take a look. Let's talk about some important spaces in our lab where we do biology. So here we culture our bacterial strains and keep them under specific temperatures. Also, we do a lot of storage things. So this is our minus 80 right here where we make stocks of bacteria and keep them for long-term storage. And this is our autoclave where we sterilize things for our bacterial use. So this is our BSL-2 space. Uh, we have a variety of incubators and shakers that we can utilize to grow pathogenic strains. Uh, we also have this biosafety hood that we can do work with our pathogenic strains and run assays and do various things with them. Uh, we also have a brand new shaker back here that we can use for growing new strains. And we also have uh, radioactivity uh, set up in here and we are certified to do radioactivity assays uh, in this space and one other space. We also do have benches we work at, as well as hoods, where we synthesize small molecule inhibitors for bacteria, probes for proteins, and ligands for nanoparticles. We also have a combi flash in our lab. This allows us to purify compounds that we make without having to run traditional hand columns. We also have two different speed facts for high throughput concentration aqueous samples and a preparatory HPLC for the purification of large volumes of bacterial natural product extracts or large amounts of synthetic organic molecules. And in every chemistry lab, we also have a rotobab just for general synthetic use. In addition to the preparative scale HPLC, we also have one with both analytical and semi-preparative capabilities, both for purifying smaller amounts of materials or for analyzing reaction mixtures. We also have a cold room. This allows us to store compounds at a cooler temperature, as well as run some reactions that need to be colder. So in the Carlson lab, we have two mass spectrometers. Uh, we primarily use these to identify compounds of interest. So in the context of synthesis, you might be interested in what compounds you make or what starting material you have left, and you can figure that out using mass spectrometry. Or if you're interested in some biological question, you can do metabolomics uh, and then you can scan thousands of features at the same time and try and figure out which features are related to the biological question that you're trying to answer. And that's primarily what we use these instruments for. We also have a brand new fluorescent microscope that we use to look at the morphology of the bacteria and also how our probes interact with bacteria. So here on the screen, you can see GFP tagged bacteria. And this fast protein liquid chromatography instrument, otherwise known as an FPLC, is used to purify proteins. Here we have our gel area where we run polyacrylamide gels to resolve proteins to better understand bacteria's responses to changes in their environment, such as exposure to antibiotics, nanomaterials, and other environmental stressors. So another special thing about the Carlson Lab and the ChemBio Depart program at Minnesota in general um, is the inter-lab collaboration and our shared spaces. Two particularly hot commodities that we have in our lab are our gel scanner and nanodrop. Um, people from other labs come in to use these whenever they need, um, and similarly, like we go and travel to other labs if they have an instrument that we don't. Uh, so this really helps facilitate like a strong sense of community um, among the department and helps us all conduct great research. This is a space uh, that all chemical biology labs use, and there's a large autoclave, a centrifuge, and a shaker. This is our 
our main office where we host group meeting and any other meeting where we all need to be together. And this is Juan, our celebration zebra. So in the event of a paper publication award or successful grant, uh, you get a picture with Juan and your bottle of champagne and Juan then sits on your desk and you get your picture on the Juan walls. And we also collect all of our bottles of champagne, which every group member signs, and then lives on the shelves uh, for posterity. This is our fish tank that contained Clive, Clive, and Clive, and tiny little bottom feeder, Chloe.